implementing good design principles is fundamental to produce sound castings. The design features encompass the various parts of the mold filling and feeding systems. The mold filling or gating system involves the transport of the molten metal from the ladle into the casting cavity. The filling system aids in completely filling the casting cavity by minimizing air entrapment, excluding impurities, and streamlining metal flow. The primary components of the filling system include the pouring basin, sprue, runner, and gates. Secondary components such as vents, filters, chokes, and stoppers are also used as needed. Once the casting cavity is filled completely, the metal begins to solidify. As the molten metal solidifies, it undergoes a volumetric reduction, resulting in shrinkage porosity. Shrinkage porosity manifests itself as depressions on the surface of the casting or as voids inside the casting. To prevent shrinkage porosity, a feeding system is devised. This feeding system is also known as the risering system. The feeding system ensures there is a continuous supply of molten metal to the casting during solidification to compensate for shrinkage. Additionally, the feeding system is instrumental in promoting controlled solidification of castings. The feeding system may also include riser sleeves and hot toppings. Risers are generally placed at or near the thicker sections of the casting that solidify last. Chills are metal inserts used to manipulate the thermal gradient to promote directional solidification of the casting. The components of the filling system, when designed in accordance with the principles of fluid flow, ensures the production of defect-free castings. Care must be exercised in the use of filling and feeding systems, as they involve additional placement and removal costs. To improve yield, the metal used in the filling and feeding system should be minimized.